All right. <clears throat> this is another drain I want to give you a demonstration on. And this time, this roof was covered with a TPO roof. And of course, then they had to do some kind of detail around the drains. Drains are one of the most difficult parts of redoing a roof or when you do a, a commercial roof. It has to be very well sealed and secured. And you can tell by looking at this uh, drain that um, what happened is you can see how many layers. There's about five layers of TPO. They tried to secure this drain. And um, all of that means it's difficult. And then you, underneath this TPO roof, you also have a, a, a modified bitumen roof that has a drain in there. So I'm going to have to remove all of this and then come to the copper insert that I, I assume there's a copper insert underneath this. And then I will redo my drain. But when you redo a roof, make sure you take everything out. You cannot just go over somebody else's work. It doesn't work. In this case, there are maybe 10 different layers of roofing material that they've been over and over, tried to patch it. You can see there's an EPDM patch right on top of a TPO roof, the TPO roof on top of foam, the foam on top of the modified bitumen. So this is too much and it's built up and then this drain becomes higher than the rest of the uh, water here and you have water pooling around this drain because so much built up. So the, what I'm going to do is remove all of this and then we're going to start doing a, 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 a connection to the drain. All right, we're removing the, the TPO there. You can see how wet it is underneath the um, TPO. There's water there. So all of those layers and attempts still didn't help solve the problem. All right, so redoing this roof and stripped off the TPO and then we had to redo the drain, came to find out that the drain was messed up and which I thought was a copper drain underneath the other drain happened to be nothing. They messed up the drain and this was uh, installed uh, as a retrofit. Um, so I removed the drain and I ordered another drain to be installed. And what I'm going to demonstrate to you is uh, how to install this drain and uh, tie that into the roof. And that is what you're going to see it now. This is a fairly pretty easy drain to install. Um, it, and it fits right into a 3 inch pipe. <clears throat> Let's start. The drain is somewhere here. Alright, right there. So right here is the drain. I'm going to put my ex my expansion rubber in there. So you can see me tightening up the, the bolts um, expanded this rubber right here. And this will expand inside the pipe in a 3 inch pipe like that and cause, and cause a, a, a tight seal so water can never back up and then into your house if you have a backup or a clogged drain. So that's the reason you want the expansion rubber like that to make the tight seal. This is a very good system um, and I recommend it very highly. Into the pipe with the expansion rubber there, and then I get this ready where I'm going to put that. So, somewhere there, branch in it's up slightly. Okay, and I heat this up. Take my adhesive, see this adhesive here. Smear that underneath there, just like that. So I'm making a gasket Put down, right there. I get the screw gun. I already formed this so it will fit nice and tight. Nice. So already that's a seal, and it will not leak. Just that's nice. 
So just doing that by itself will almost not leak anymore. Okay. I tighten that expansion um, rubber. Okay. Alright, so I get the bolts come through. Nice. Okay. Next, lift this up. This is where technique comes in. Most people who does torch roofing, they would heat this up with a torch and melt it to that metal. It's a big mistake. This material melts and expands, the, the metal doesn't expand. And after a while it comes loose and you have a leak. That's not how you do it. We put down our adhesive over the metal. Right there. And we're ready to. And this this was a pretty easy drain to install. I burnt the plastic off so it will stick to this uh, adhesive here. seal, weld them together, and this will never, never... Very good. That's this drain. And your final thing, you put your strainer on. This whole drain is a metal drain. There's nothing plastic about this. What I took out here have plastic in it. Now, this is very good plastic, I, I realized it. But sometimes, you know, people put tar and all kinds of stuff in here. And the, the plastic and the metal at some times starts leaking because of the transition. I don't say this drain was bad, I just say I don't like that. This strainer, it starts cracking after a while. It gets hard in the sun and they start cracking. Oh uh, yeah, it's cracked, it's broken already. I don't like the plastic. If you're gonna get a drain, get a metal drain, metal metal strainer like this. This is quality. The only thing is you, you get to do this roof once in 20 or 30 years. This roof is gonna last over 30 years and you don't wanna replace strainers and drains and fix anything. This is the best way to do a drain. Just get a metal drain and do it right from the first time. Never have to be redone. All right. That's it for your drain.